Okay, let's uh, follow up on the uh, Nord go with the leakage issue. Uh, so, uh, place your bet is it going to be corrosion underneath uh, the relays, i.e. water underneath uh, causing uh, co conductivity, or is it going to be uh, corrosion inside the relays? Uh, so, we're going to have issues on L1 and L3. I've got the relays marked. Uh, let's uh, get this board nice and hot and toasty and uh, get these relays off. Now, I think our answer might be upon us. Listen to this. It's sizzling at us. So I think there's a ton of water stuck underneath the relays. <laughs> Three relays, hey, don't look over that. There's literally water pouring out of a board onto my mat. It's uh, evaporating instantly on the actual board, but uh, those drops, they've just uh, popped out from underneath the relays. So that's all the relays off, and uh, surprisingly, uh, there's uh, pretty much no corrosion at all underneath the relays. So either this water's just not been here very long at all, or it's just been like really pure water. Condensation water isn't very, uh, you know, contaminated with minerals and stuff because it's just coming out of the air. Uh, so maybe it's just uh, fault of the charger right as soon as uh, it started uh, to become conductive. So let's just uh, slice the top out of these guys and uh, see what's inside. Uh, yep, yeah. there you go. That's uh, the inside of a lid. There are tons of uh, water droplets on that. Tons of little bitty droplets. No, actually inside a relay don't look too bad. Uh, the contacts are slightly corroded, but it's really not terrible. Uh, and there's uh, just a little bit of water on the walls. So really, these relays, I, I, I don't think there's actually been conduction through the relays because the isolation distance is quite large uh, for, for, for the actual contacts. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to take quite a lot of water to actually uh, conduct through inside here. So I think uh, the issue has been either that it's conducting, well, yeah, it's, it has to have been conducting through across the board from terminal to terminal. And here's L2, similar story. The contacts look pretty good, not a ton of water in the relay, but there's absolutely uh, a ton of water ingress. Little itty bitty droplets. So condensation has gotten inside this one as well. And I bet we're going to see the same thing on uh, the remaining relays. But the actual contacts look good. Like these aren't failed per se, but they're just full of water. And for the remaining relays, same story. Bunch of condensation inside. Just wet all over. Man. <laughs> I wouldn't be so bothered, but this, this is a product that, uh, you know, it looks very outdoors, it looks very, you know, safe to put outside to charge your car, but it's just not designed in a way which allows it to do that without suffering horrible failure due to condensation. Like this is, that's just not good, not good at all. Uh, so at least now we know why this thing was uh, putting out voltage. So I'm probably gonna maybe replace the relays if they're economical. Uh, maybe just scrap it, save it for a tester unit. Given the rate at this, which these seem to be failing, uh, it could be useful to just have a tester unit lying around to do some cross-checking with, because otherwise this thing isn't, a, isn't that broken, it does operate. Ah, but yeah, there you go. Confirmed, di confirmed diagnosis is full of water.